Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe down below. And without much further ado, let's get on with the video. Did I just Disney point? It's begun. <laughs> Today I am bringing you my Comic Con haul from last MCM Expo which I went to on the 28th of October which has probably been a while ago now because I have a lot of videos that I need to let out to the world and um, my schedule is all over the place. But I am bringing you the haul today because I need to film it and um, I'm going out so I was like well I'm gonna have my makeup done anyway, why not film a video? Everything that I bought I of course did buy with my own money even though I shouldn't have because I'm a student and I don't have any money. First, I'm gonna to go to the free stuff. Now, if you've been to Comic-Con, MCM Expo in particular, you know that they have a hell of a lot of things for free. You have photo opportunities, you have just little knickknacks and things. They used to give out like this whole like brochure and bag with a comic in it. They don't have that anymore, but it's fine because there were other things to get for free. The first thing I got for free was this photo right here don't know if you can see this. It is the cheekiest thing I've ever taken in my life because, honey, this is risky. Okay, I didn't realize when I was taking it that like, you can see basically my butt almost, but yeah, this was at the Disneyland 25th anniversary Paris booth thing. They had the Spider-Man set up with the like New York taxi. It was just really cool because basically on the same stool there was a thing that you could enter to win a trip to Paris and I don't actually know if I can win that because obviously now I work for Disney but I still entered it anyway. If I can't win then I'll just be like Salisbury. But um, yeah, I got this. It was free. They just went go pose. So I did and if you want to see me posing for this then there'll be a link to my vlog which I made up there. But yeah, this was free. Yay for free stuff. The next thing I got for free, I actually had to line up for a good 10, 20 minutes to get, but it was kind of worth it. This coin right here, which I don't know if it's gonna focus and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but it says MCM Comic Con 2017 exclusive and it's just like a coin of Comic Con and it was free. If you wanted to get the one that wasn't free, it was like 10 pound and it was colored. But I was like, I'm here for the free stuff. I'm here for this and they gave it to me in a little cute pouch so free stuff galore here for it yes I am we'll go to the tea because um I bought tea I don't drink tea basically me and Sarah were just looking around the stools having a great time and we came across this stool which had very risque pictures of all your favorite characters so they had like Bucky they had Loki they had supernatural characters but they had all these different pictures and then they had tea. Now they didn't just have any normal tea, they had tea which had characters on it and they were named after characters kind of thing. I don't know if that makes sense. Again, go and watch my vlog. But I was very much like, I need this in my life because they had supernatural tea and they had Marvel tea and I was just like, yes, I'm here for it. And I saw that they had Loki on a tea and I was like, oh, if I drank tea, I would totally get that. Sarah asked the people there, do you have any mint tea? Because she knew that Mint tea is the only tea I drink because I have problems with my insides and mint helps. So she asked and the person replied, yes, we have a mint tea and went straight to the Loki one and said it was mint and gunpowder and that I could smell a little tester in front of the packet of tea. I smelt it, it smelt amazing. So I bought it. Um, this is my uh, Loki tea. It's called Full Tilt Diva and yeah, it's mint and gunpowder, which is just stunning and I'm here for it. This was £10, which I know is expensive for tea, but one, I drink mint tea, two, it's Loki, and three, the people were really nice and I, I felt obliged because they were so nice to me. So this is what it is. It's loose leaf tea and because it's loose leaf tea and I don't drink a lot of tea, I don't have a tea strainer. So I bought a tea strainer from the same stool and it is this one just here and it has a little cast on it and this was I believe five pound and then it's just the tea strainer part and you put the leaves in this and you put it in the hot water and then boom you have tea but I, I got this one because it was Castiel my mum should be jealous even though she doesn't drink tea either also I'm not sponsored by these people but they were just so nice to me so I'm gonna tell you the company was Tea Beast and this is a link to all of their like social media uh, again, not sponsored, just they were really nice, so giving them a little shout out. The next thing I got is this piece of art. If you didn't know, I went to Comic Con as Wednesday Adams. Go and watch the vlog. I'm gonna say that like 20 times in this video. But I went as Wednesday, so I saw this and I was like, it's only fitting if I get 
this and it's stunning and I love it. The artist is Jean Jones and she has uh, all her social media stuff just here. I don't know if you can see that because of the light, but there you go. Again, not sponsored, just stunning artist. But yes, this is what the art looks like and it was five pound for two prints and Sarah got a print, so it cost me like 250. This is good. Keeping with the theme of art, I also picked up this print right here, which if you didn't know, I love it. Um, it's a great film. I'm currently got the book. I haven't started reading it yet. It's over there. I just keep not having time to read it, but I absolutely loved the original series. I loved the new film. I have the book obviously, and I'm ready to read it. So um, I saw this and I was like, oh my God, here for it. I'm here for anything it at this Comic-Con ready. If you didn't know, I took pictures with as many Pennywise as I could find. They're all on Instagram, spoilers.123. But it's five pound and it's by someone called Emily Tabbett, I believe is what her name is. Again, this is all her details. I don't know if you can see that. Do you want to, do you want to, do you want to focus? She does, if you've heard of the game, Happy Families, Happy Families, but horror, happy families. So this is one of the like playing cards, Pennywise, but as a print, it's just stunning, okay? And they had old Pennywise, so with a pink balloon, and then they had the new Pennywise with a red balloon, and it's just creepy, and we all float down here. Love it, it's like, it's a playing card, but it's Pennywise. While we're sticking with the pictures and art and kind of things, I met three famous people at this Comic Con, which is a first for me because I've never, ever met anyone famous other than Hillywood at MCM in 2015, I believe it was. But the first person I met was Talitha Bateman, who, if you don't know, was in Annabelle. And this is the picture I got with her. Um, I look really short and chubby <laughs> compared to her, but like, it doesn't matter because I had a great time. She was really nice. She looked at me and she was like, Wednesday Adams? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh, cool. And then we got the picture and I um, asked if she would hold Annabelle and she did. And she was really nice. And I, even though I only got to see her for like, literally two seconds it was still a great thing and this picture cost me i think 25 pound so i feel like meeting someone at comic-con 25 pound is nothing considering hayley atwell to get a picture with hayley atwell was like 70 pound which i understand the price but like calm down comic-con calm down the other two people i met were alexander vlahos i believe that's how you pronounce his name i still don't know and also rupert young both of those people were doing like meet and greet kind of things and it was five pound for a photo with them so i was like hell yes so i went up and i talked to them for a little bit i approached rupert young by being like why is merlin gone why is it not coming back and he was like i know i miss it too but at least his character didn't die and it was like that is a true, true point. Also, Alex is the nicest human being I've ever met in my life. Considering he'd probably been sat at that table for a good, like, at least three hours just meeting people and trying to keep up conversation and just trying to be happy and everything, which is a very hard thing to do and very tiring. He was so nice to me and I still can't believe it. He let me put him in my video. Uh, if you haven't seen, go and check out my vlog. He allowed that and I was like, oh my god, did I seriously just get Alex, aka the dude from Merlin and Versailles, in my vlog? Yes, I did. It was a very big moment for me and um, if you haven't seen it, go check out the vlog. <laughs> How many times can I say that in this video? It was a very good day and I didn't expect to meet them and I did and it made my day because I'd seen Rupert Young at a previous Comic Con and never went up and spoke to him, so yay. That was cool. In terms of clothes, I only bought two things this time. If you've seen my previous Comic-Con hauls, you probably know that I buy a t-shirts a lot at Comic-Con and this time I only bought one and it is this right here. Can you see this? It says Chaos and Destruction and it's Loki on the bridge, but to me it's like gay Loki and that makes my life because um, gay and Loki. I cannot for the life of me remember the brand, but they also did things with bunnies. So they had one that was like a bunny holding chainsaws and it was like, this is my spirit animal. And then there was another one which was like a bunny in the death costume saying hippity hop, death is on its way. And it was glow in the dark and I almost bought it, but I didn't. This one made my day and I bought it because it's gay Loki saying chaos and destruction and being really happy. And I wore it when I went to see Ragnarok. Stunning film. If you haven't seen it, go and see it. Uh, I just, it's amazing. It's the Thor film we've all been waiting for. It's the Marvel film we've all been waiting for. 20 pound for a t-shirt that I can't remember the brand. Cool. And the other piece of clothing I got was this jacket right here, which, wow, it just looks like a, like a, a football jacket. That, that's not very Amelia, is it? Well, let me tell you this. This cost me 25 pound and I could have like anything that they had on their stool printed onto this. I got Riverdale 
printed onto it. I have been wanting Riverdale merch for as long as I can remember because I love the show so much. It's visually stunning, the writing is great, other than Jughead's writing because sometimes that's very questionable. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. But overall, the writing is amazing, the characters are amazing, the cast is amazing, and I was like, I need something Riverdale. And I saw this and I was like, hell yes, it's happening. So £25 in the back, it says Riverdale High. And I literally haven't been wearing any other jacket. It's, it's just been this one for the past like two weeks. Finally, we come to the last few things I bought, which are all pop vinyls because you guys know, I have an obsession. Almost as big as my Sim Sim obsession, but not quite, but it's getting there. I bought four pop vinyls this time because I'd been looking for all of these and the fact that I found them all made my day. So obviously you guys know from the picture with Talitha, I found Annabelle, which was one I've been wanting since Annabelle creation came out, which has been like, what? Four months? Five months? I don't even know when that came out. I watched it three times in the cinema. It's genuinely amazing. I still love Sandberg as a director. He's my favourite. I cannot wait for his DC film. Here for it. She was, I believe, £12 instead of like the usual £10 for Comic-Con, but it was fine because I was like, I, I need you in my life because I love Annabelle so much. It's such a great film. Annabelle creation is just stunning. So yes, I got Annabelle. Keeping with the horror theme, I finally got my hands on a Pennywise pop vinyl. This one I know was from the Forbidden Planet stool, which was new to MCM this year, and it was £10, I believe. And I cannot believe I found it because I had pre-ordered this on Forbidden Planet's website and they were like, we're not gonna get a shipment until October. October came around, they were like, we're not gonna get one until November, then December. And I was like, I just want this freaking pop vinyl. So I found it at their stall and I was like, yep. Like no thought went into it. I was just like, have my 10 pound. I am taking that pop vinyl home with me. And he's gonna go straight in my horror corner with the rest of my Pennywise stuff because I love it and Pennywise. My friends are gonna come for me. Oh my God, there's an inside joke about how much I love Pennywise. Anyway, the third pop vinyl I picked up was this one, which was actually the first one that I found at Comic-Con and it is Hook with Excalibur. Now, <laughs> it is Hook with Excalibur. Now I got this for my friend Chloe for her birthday. I think it was last year and I was so envious that I was giving it to her because I wanted it, but then I hadn't found him anywhere else. And I currently in my possession have Rumpelstiltskin and Regina. And I was like, I just want Hook with Excalibur because it's stunning and I found this one and I believe he was £10. Yeah, that's the usual price at Comic-Con. If you find them for more than £10, you're probably getting ripped off unless they are exclusive ones that are literally like there's 10 in the universe. Check your pop vinyl stands before you buy pop vinyls because you could be getting ripped off. And finally, the last pop vinyl and thing I bought at Comic-Con is one of my favorite things that I bought. It is Loki from Ragnarok. I love him so much. I got this from the official Funko stand, which literally had a line to get like into the stand, but it was worth it because I went in, saw Loki, grabbed it, got to the till, 10 pound. Yes, boy, here we go. I love him so much. He's just so pretty and his costume is stunning. And at the Disney store, we have key rings of him, which I'm going to be buying literally this week i need to calm down i'm just i'm here for loki i forgot how much i loved tom hiddleston and watching thor ragnarok again made me remember my love for him and now i want to watch crimson peak and all the other thors and avengers again and i don't have time for this but i'll make time i'll make time for hiddleston that was the last thing i bought from comic-con and this comic-con was insane and amazing and genuinely the best comic-con i've had so far <gasps> i just remember one other thing i got the other thing was I got a picture with a Gaston and afterwards they thanked me for taking a picture with them and then went, would you like a rose? And I was like, yes, please. So um, I got a rose from Gaston and uh, that made my day because it's Gaston and uh, it's a rose. Am I Belle yet? Oh my God. Comic-Con was great this year and I cannot wait for the next one. I'm hoping to go to all the comic cons next year but yes if you enjoyed today's video then please don't forget to subscribe just here also go and click on my previous video just here and here is a link to the vlog if you still haven't seen it go go now but until next time bye